This is my seventh video lesson for Unit 12. In this lesson, we'll be determining the solubility equilibrium constant, KSP. Go to page 30 in the class packet. Keep in mind, this topic is not on the chemistry region exam. In the previous lesson, we were looking at chemical reaction at equilibrium. In this lesson, we'll be looking at saturated solutions. In the motivation, take a moment to write the equilibrium constant for the following equation. Learning target. At the end of the lesson, I will be able to determine the solubility equilibrium constant, KSP, and the solubility of salts. Homework B number 7, which we base off this lesson, there will be an exam based off unit 12. The solubility product equilibrium constant, or KSP, S stands for solubility, P stands for product, and K is the equilibrium constant. It is defined for equilibrium between a solid and its respected ions in a solution. The purpose of KSP is that its value indicates the degree in which a compound dissociates in water. Basically, how well an ionic compound dissolves in water. For example, if we go back to the motivation, if you were to write the equilibrium constant, it will be KSP equal to the concentration of the lead ion times the concentration of the iodine ion squared. Notice that the reactants, lead to iodide and water, are left out of the equilibrium equation. If you recall, for the equilibrium constant expression, you do not include solids or liquids. They are equal to 1. Therefore, for KSP equilibrium expressions, they do not have a denominator. This is a unique feature of KSP expression. The general equation for KSP, there's two representation. Here's the simple one. This equation shows a physical change of an ionic compound dissolving in water, splitting into two ions one positive, the other negative. The equilibrium constant KSP only includes the ions. Here's the complex and more accurate version of the general equation. It clearly shows the charges of C and A. C is a cation, A is an anion, and CA is the ionic compound. So let's analyze the general equation. Learning check number one. The more soluble the salt is, KSP will do what? Pause the video. Resumes completed. If a salt is more soluble, the concentration of the ions will increase. And since KSP is dependent on the concentration of the ions, so if the concentration of the ions increase, KSP will increase as well. Learning check number two. You can only calculate KSP if the solution is what? Pause the video. Resumes completed. The answer is choice B, saturated. This is because a saturated solution is in equilibrium. The more soluble the salt is, KSP will be higher. The less soluble the salt is, KSP will be lower. You can only calculate the KSP if the solution is saturated. This is because KSP is an equilibrium constant and only a saturated solution are at equilibrium. For unsaturated and supersaturated solution, use QSP. QSP is similar to the reaction quotient Q which we covered in the last lesson. The solubility product constant KSP can be compared to QSP to understand the characteristics of a solution with respect to forming precipitate. When QSP is equal to KSP, when a reaction it becomes saturated, no more solute can dissolve and the solution is called saturated. There will be no more changes that will occur. If QSP is greater than KSP, precipitate will form until the solution becomes saturated. If QSP is less than KSP, the solution is unsaturated and no precipitate will form. We will be covering three scenarios involving KSP. Let's look at scenario one, calculating the KSP given the molar solubility. Example number one, determine the KSP of silver bromide given that its molar solubility is 5.71 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. Solubility is defined as the amount of solute that can be dissolved before the solution becomes saturated. So molar solubility puts it in terms of moles. It is the number of moles of the solute that can be dissolved per liter of solution before the solution becomes saturated. So let's look at this example. The first step in solving these questions is to write out the KSP expression. So KSP is equal to the concentration of the silver ion times the concentration of the bromide ion. The next step is to set up a rice table. 
In the beginning, initially, we only have silver bromide solid. There is no ions. Therefore, the equilibrium will shift to the right to form ions as the silver bromide is dissolved in water. So the change for the silver bromide will be negative, so we negative x, and the change for the ions will be positive x. x represents the molar solubility because it shows how much of the ions will be dissolved in solution in terms of moles. The equilibrium concentration of the ions will each be x. Technically, you do not have to fill in this column because it will not be included in the KXP expression. For the last step, you plug it in into the KXP expression. KSP is equal to x times x or x squared. We know x is, represents the molar solubility, so we plug it in. We get KSP is equal to 3.26 times 10 to the minus 13. So the molar solubility is directly related to KSP. Let's look at one more example. Number one, in your packet, determine the KSP of calcium fluoride given that its molar solubility is 2.14 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter. The first step is to write the KSP expression. The next step is to set up the rice table. Initially, we do not have any calcium or fluoride ions. The change of concentration for calcium ion will be positive x change of concentration for fluoride ion will be positive 2x. The equilibrium concentration for calcium ion will be x. The equilibrium concentration of fluoride ion will be 2x. Next, we plug in the equilibrium concentrations into the KSP expression. We get KSP is equal to 4x cubed. We plug in x, which is 2.14 times 10 to the minus 4, into the KSP expression. We get KSP is equal to 3.92 times 10 to the minus 11. Now try to do questions 2 to 8 by yourself. Pause the video. Resume is completed. Here are the answers. For scenario 2, we'll be doing the opposite. We'll be calculating the solubility or molar solubility from KSP. Silver chloride has a KSP of 1.77 times 10 to the minus 10. Calculate its solubility in terms of moles per liter. The first step is to write out the KSP expression. KSP is equal to the concentration of silver ion times the concentration of chloride ion. The next step is to set up the rice table. Initially, we do not have any silver ions or chloride ions. The change of concentration for silver ion will be positive x. For chloride ions, we also be positive x. The equilibrium concentration of silver ions will be x. And for chloride ions, it will also be x. The next step is to plug in the equilibrium concentrations into the KXP expression. We get KSP is equal to x squared. Next, we solve for x. x represents the molar solubility. We know that KSP is equal to 1.77 times 10 to the minus 10. We take the square root of both sides. We get x is equal to 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. Try to do the rest of the practice questions, number 1 to 11, by yourself. Pause the video. Resume is completed. Here are the answers. The last scenario is about the common ion effect. Just to review, the common ion effect is when addition of another ionic compound with a common ion causes a decrease in the solubility of the saturated ionic salt. In this example, we have a saturated solution of silver chloride. If we add sodium chloride to the solution, 
the solubility of silver chloride decreases because some of the silver chloride precipitated. Let's look at another example. What is the common ion between these two substances? Since they're both ionic compounds, if you look on table E, the common ion is ammonium ion. In question two, we're given the equation of a saturated solution of ammonium chloride using Le Chatier's principle, what would happen if ammonium hydroxide was added to the solution? When ammonium hydroxide is added, you're basically adding ammonium and hydroxide ions. Since ammonium ion is on the right side of this equation, adding more ammonium ion will shift the equilibrium to the opposite side, which is the reactant side, so more ammonium chloride will be produced by precipitation. Question 3. In summary, what happens to the solubility with the addition of a common ion? The solubility will decrease because precipitation occurs. Learning check number 4, given the equilibrium system, which changes occur as lead to nitrate is added to the system at equilibrium? Pause the video. Resumes completed. The answer is choice 3. The common ion between lead to carbonate and lead to nitrate is lead ion. Since you're adding lead to ions into the solution, it will shift the equilibrium to the left side, so lead to carbonate will increase, and the concentration of carbon ions will decrease because it's being used to make lead to carbonate. Let's look at one more question. Calculate the solubility of barium sulfate in a 0.02 molar of sodium sulfate solution. The solubility product constant for barium sulfate is 1.1 times 10 to minus 10. The first step is to write out the KSP expression for barium sulfate because we're given the value of KSP for barium sulfate. The next step is to set up the rice table. The common ion between barium sulfate and sodium sulfate is sulfate ion. So initially, we don't have any barium ions, but we do have sulfate ions. The sulfate ion comes from the sodium sulfate. The change in concentration for barium ion will be positive x. The change in concentration for sulfate ion will also be positive x. The equilibrium concentration of barium ion will be x, but sulfate ions will be x plus 0.02. The next step is to plug in the equilibrium concentration into the KSP expression. To calculate the solubility, we need to figure out the value of x. To avoid using the quadratic formula, we're going to apply the 5% rule approximation. So we get KSP is equal to x times 0.02 equal to 1.1 times 10 to minus 10. If we solve for x, we get 5.5 times 10 to minus 9 molar. For part b of this question, what if 0.02 molar of sodium sulfate was not added to the solution? What would be the solubility? So if we don't add the 0.02 molar of the sodium sulfate, instead of having 0.02 molar as the initial concentration of sulfate ion, it will be zero. So the KSP will equal to x squared equal to 1.1 times 10 to the minus 10. If we solve for x, which is the molar solubility, we get 1.04 times 10 to the minus 5. Notice that this number here is bigger than this number here. This means that barium sulfate is more soluble without the common ion. The difference is 1,890 times more soluble without the ion. So the addition of the common ion made it less soluble because of precipitation. Try to do questions 2 to 7 by yourself. Pause the video. Resume is completed. Here are the answers. This concludes the video lesson. Remember to do the homework.